Welcome back to quarter number three of the Blitz. The shallow water Mustangs cruise through the Bushland Falcons on their way to a deep postseason run last season. This year, a younger Mustangs team hosting the number four ranked team in 3A Division One, Bushland. Let's see how this one shook out. And Mustangs with the ball in the first quarter and Falcons. Orcutt gets the pick there. He's going to go all the way down to the one yard line. That'll set up this next play, which will be just a short touchdown plunge for the Falcons, and they're on the board at 7-zip. Shallow, shallow water, though, trying to come back here. It'll be John Easley that gets the ball. The nice little short gain, but you know what? You take the yards where you can get them, and that's a hard-fought three yards. Next play out, it's Dylan Kelly going to find Zeb Price for a touchdown reception. PAT was no good. It was just a one-point game, and this one was a very close game. Four points. That's all that determined the winner here. Bushland wins 28 to 24. Idaloo at Roosevelt. And uh, folks bundling up all over the place tonight. And why not? We kind of needed to. Pick it up here in the first. And uh, Idaloo with some nice shifty moves there from Cavazos. Gets the handoff and powers down to the nine yard line. We'll set up Taryn here. Gets the ball and knows what to do with it. Puts it in the end zone. It's 7 0 Wildcats. Roosevelt now with the ball fourth down, and they're going to fall just a shade short for the touchdown reception. Turns the ball over here. Once again, more from Terran. Gets the rock and pushes it all the way across the goal. It would be Idaloo going on to win this one 48 to 7. River Road at home against Mule Shoe up in the panhandle. We will pick up the action in the first quarter. No score. Wildcats get the ball and get on the board first. Quarterback Lance Welps, the coach's kid, fakes the handoff and keeps it all the way into the zone. No Mules going to catch him on that one. Strolls in. Next possession then for the Mules. A touchdown pass there, and that's good. So 8 nothing River Road, but Mules come right back. Let's get a check on that final. It was... 50 to 28. So River Road still alive in the postseason race. As far as some other games of interest around our area, it was Slayton falling by just two. Look at that game, 38 to 40. Brownfield falls to Denver City. The Mustangs looking pretty good as well, 44 to 14. Abernathy, really no problem with Colorado. 52 to six is your final. So they remain just. One loss on their record to post on the season. Let's go to Tahoka and Rawls. First quarter, Tahoka up 7-0. Going for it deep in their own territory. That was the 13-yard line, their own, and they get it. What this will turn into, though, the start of the second quarter, a 48-yard touchdown pass to Stone. And it was a 14-0. It looked like Tahoka was going to run away with this and get the upset over the highly ranked Rawls Jackrabbits. The defense stands tall on both sides of the field. A fourth down attempt here for Tahoka, and they get stymied short. Turns the ball over, but really, Rawls unable to do much of anything. They only manage six points, and they fall at home tonight. So they're no longer unbeaten. 14-6 is your final. Some other scores from teams around the area. Smyre, a winner over Lotney. It was Sudan blanking Spring Lake Earth. Seagraves, a winner over Bovina. Farwell, winner over Plains, 48-7. New Home, a winner over Crosbyton. New Deal blanks Hale Center, 22-0.